Welcome back to the vlog. Come experience spring in Montana and watch the dog do entertaining things. No, it's not actually that entertaining. For some reason, I was fascinated with it, though. So, enjoy the video. So, obviously, I'm not going to play the song because, you know, copyright. But everyone should go listen to this song because... It is 100% descriptive of the way the world is right now. So yeah, Nathan got a light bright and he had it on while he was working on it at one point and he said it was hot. So that's the same old, I'm really unsure why he didn't like leave it as far as it was and just store it that way, weirdo. Because now how are you going to remember? You're going to have to like, I mean, I guess you can kind of see the pee, but. But yeah, then this chintzy little kickstand here, he kept like tipping it over. And I... Editing Megan here. I wanted to reiterate, because I had to cut some of that out, um, Matt was saying that, like, the one he had when he was a kid and also the one I had when I was a kid were, like, cubes instead of the little thing with the kickstand, so. Like a tube TV. Yeah, like a tube TV kind of thing. So it was, like, you had, you know, the four sides and. CRT, cathode ray tube. What? <laughs> so you had, like, the four sides and then. You didn't have to like hold it up just by a kickstand. It was a cube, so. That like if you magnetize, like that's why those ones aren't dangling at the bottom. Because once you magnetize a piece of metal, it makes it also magnetic. Like it'll pick up until the magnetism dissipates. It magnet magnetism is basically a charge, so it basically charges the metal that it's touching. Okay, we noticed this last week when I was checking the store. That looks really dirty the way they got that tur those turkeys there. Okay, Megan's so terrified of being able to get the Jeep out of the garage that she had to like, it felt like she had to get up the hill, but she's went mud with me enough. You'd think she'd know that like cranking the wheel on a side hill in the mud isn't gonna turn out good. I mean, this side's basically like up where it was still frozen. It's not that close, but there was risk of not being able to open the door. <laughs> this is another one of those moments where it's like, I know she's trying to make sure she doesn't hit the Jeep, but like that's tall enough. And if the tire's down in here, that easily could have caught, now that it's froze, could have caught the bumper and ripped the bumper completely off the car. It's not something you should be hearing in a car, that sound of mud flying off of tires. Okay, from working at Shields and having them stop there on their way places, I guess I knew a decent number of Canadians fled Canada during the winter, but today I think that was like the sixth vehicle I passed, and all of them were Canada. It's like, I'm assuming like it's spring, so it's time to go back, but... Yeah, it's like it's been pretty heavy most days. It's at least half most days, but today it's like all of them. That's a cute little trailer. I don't know. I don't know. It feels a little bit too small for me to trust it much, but that's kind of funny because I was like, oh yeah, it'll flip once we get to Boulder because I think there's a lot of people that drive from Boulder to Helena for work. Still, I saw like three Canadians and one Montana, and then like. You get to Montana City and it's like, okay, yeah, there's definitely like people from there going to work in Helena. That was the second one I passed, and so it's still 50% Canadian. But yeah, like it's like the one with the weird little Harley trailer thing. Turned out to be Canadian. I didn't really expect that. I bet these, yeah, that one's Montana. I don't think I'm gonna pass anymore though. Maybe I am. I gotta take this exit right up here, but end it on a little streak of Montana's. That's what's funny. There's probably people around me panicking, like, oh my god! You see an aggressive movie did in a big city, people would be like, ha! That gap was bigger! A semi could have fit in that thing! Jeez!
So there's the front of that S10 I was talking about with the crazy bumper. It is hot. Oh, look at the pile, how much the pile's already shrunk. TRX is probably almost as tall as the tallest part now. I mean, I guess when all of a sudden it's 50 degrees. Makes sense. Funny thing is I just looked in Butte's like 12 degrees cooler or something. Okay, I, I get where they're coming from because like the snow blindness, like my entire head hurts from my eyes being strained from like the combination of the sun and then the sun reflecting off the snow. But there's just a dude with sunglasses on his dog and not like in a like, I'm gonna take a picture really quick. No, he's walking down the street with sunglasses and it looked like they might've been specifically built for a dog because it looked like it had like kind of like, like a strap, like it was goggles for the dog that were tinted. Which, I mean, I kind of get it, because it's like, it sucks on your eyes. Okay, everything's getting hot and thawy, but where the sun doesn't get, our alley isn't getting a whole lot better yet. Oh god, it's turning slushy. That's, uh, not good. Yeah! I, mean... I know! So, everyone should go find this petition and sign it. I kind of put it up as a joke, to be honest with you, and I got to five, so it actually be posted. I'm like, 12? I've got like seven more without doing anything. Therefore, go sign it. Make it 25 plus. Matt let the dog lick the ice cream container. Megan, think about it. Some places will give dogs lick ice cream. Containers. I know, it's just entertaining to watch him. Oh, I know. I was hoping he'd get his face stuck in it. Also, first vlog on my new phone. Where are you taking it, puppy puppy? You don't want me to watch you anymore? He hears you making fun of him. I'm not making fun of him. Some of the ice cream are awesome, but they like, kind of overfill it. So, I just did a thing I've probably never done in my whole life. That's actually not true because uh, growing up we did dishes on Thanksgiving and Christmas like six times a day. But six. we helped each other split them or whatever, so I might not have done it then either. But, no, okay, like two or three. But, um, anyway, I just did the dishes twice in a day and I didn't die. It's shocking. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one.